What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. New freak coming into the IFBB, Michael. And that kid's gonna do some damage, man. I mean, he's doing the prog pro, so. When the legend like Jay Cutler speaks so highly of someone, that means he is the real deal. Michael Crizzo is one of the biggest freaks in the bodybuilding world right now. After Crizzo appeared on Jay Cutler TV, it is now confirmed that he is doing Prog Pro in October. So, that makes him roughly 8 to 10 weeks out. Can anyone in the comment section confirm what is the last show to qualify for this year's Olympia? If Prague is in fact an Olympia qualifier for this year, Crizzo can win his pro debut in the IFBB Pro League and be on that Olympia stage in December. How great would that be? After Milos, Jay is the second person who has stated that Michael is so much more impressive in person than he is in the pictures. The yeah, he, he looks massive, face. man. Much more impressive in person. And, uh... right. After a long time, Michael Crizzo will be standing next to some fierce competition. And we are all super excited for it. Vlad has been announced as wildcard for the upcoming Arnold Classic UK. Portugal Pro was the first show of the season for him, where he showed up almost 10 pounds heavier than last year. He was quite easily the freakiest guy in that lineup, but he finished fifth in that show. Keep in mind, Portugal Pro didn't have a crazy deep lineup. Vlad has been prepping for a long time. He posted this off-season physique update back in December. He looked humongous with great condition, which means he was running quite large amount of gear back then as well. And the Arnold Classic UK is still 9 weeks away. We all know he is a freak but we wish him to stay healthy. The original Arnold Classic UK list was very competitive. We do not know what the guys like Hassan Mustafa or Andrea Pressi are doing the show or shooting straight for the Olympia. Because from the looks of it, I do not think they will be doing Arnold UK. James Hollingshead has the best shot of winning this title. After all, he has taken the longest time off among all these athletes. He hasn't competed since the Olympia last year and we can't wait to see him back on the bodybuilding stage. Big Rami is looking massive and fans are waiting to see a physique update from him. Of course, he is the biggest guy out there. Insane shoulder to shoulder ratio. Massive quad sweep. I think Rami's 2014 Olympia version was extremely impressive. You can make an argument that Rami wasn't as conditioned from the back as he was from the front. But the pure shape, the small waist and the flow of his physique was unbelievable. And in my opinion, from the front, he was better than what we saw in 2020. But that being said, 2020 was the best all-around package that we saw from Rami in his career. Of course, the competition in 2014 was a lot more tough. Bodybuilding fans are expecting nothing but a better version of him to take the stage in December of 2022. John De La Rosa shares a physique update after two weeks of consistent training since the bicep tear. He has no plans of returning to the stage this year. The plan is to start the off-season and regain all the muscle that was lost during recovery. 
John made his Olympia debut in 2014. So, he is a veteran. There is plenty of new talent in the open border building right now. And it is gonna get harder and harder for the old guys like John to hold these young guns back. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.